pretty like you for as long God's pretty good. Ooh, look at you. The pot can't talk about the kittle. <laughs> how you doing, Sam? I uh, couldn't be better. Yeah. Do you well, know how do you know how I met you? How we got together? Do you remember? Remind me. I don't know. I don't remember. Um I saw BB and I, I, I knew him as Riley. I didn't know who BB was. Right, and you were right. recording him and he was playing in Chambers, Mississippi. And uh, I, he said, he heard my band. He said, man, why are you not recording? I said, I don't know how to record. He said, well, I know a man in Memphis that named Sam Phillips. He said, I'm going to tell him to call you, and he'll give you a call by, between Monday and Wednesday. And sure enough, Monday morning, you called me. Records like like we cut was mm. called race records. That's right. And they didn't play that kind of stuff on white radio stations. That's right. Then you got the idea of getting some white kids to sing the black music, yeah. and this started rock and roll. That's right. I guess the most criticism I got was that black people just were not what white people were. And I mean, I knew every one of them done and they wasn't, I didn't know a race baiter or anything, but they could not understand why I was out here fooling around with a bunch of niggers. <laughs> no, I mean, that's just exactly the truth. I, knew, I, I, had, I had the finest people I was working with. And they would come in and say, well, you must not have had a session yesterday. I says, man, either that or you use a lot of deodorant. Now, these were cruel things. Well, they were cruel things. But do you think I got mad at them? Hell no, that's what uh, I was playing right in the hands if I'd have gotten mad at them. I just kept doing my thing. I was just saying, we have got to develop something that's good and that at the same time possibly can have an everlasting effect on what humanity thinks of each other. Yeah, but say, I you mean, know wait a minute, I'm not, listen, hey, that is a fact, and those are the facts. Yeah, you, you know, I've said this uh, in an interview before about you. That's uh -oh. one thing I never felt about you. And when I came in that door, my first time, I never felt any purchase of uh, you being partial, uh, uh, feeling, uh, made me feel black, or made me feel afraid, or made me feel that I had to sit over here, or I had to come around to the back door. Uh, like the first time I came to the Peabody, I, uh, I sat in the car for three hours. I never felt any of that in this building, not once. Okay, and if anybody say that, right. I can say that they are lying. Wrong. I've never felt Wrong. that in this building. Wrong. No, that's one thing I can say about this place, because it, it just didn't exist here. It would have never succeeded. It would never happen if I'd have had that attitude. And somehow or another, God blessed me with the ability to work day and night and hope that I'd be given enough time to stay in business. Wait a minute. To prove that it absolutely would have to be that some white folks would have to start doing some things, not trying to mock, not trying to copy or anything, but they're going to have to do it with some feel. And I knew the southern white people like Elvis Presley. Ain't no black person ever been poorer than him. All this stuff was black style. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And so there was a lot yeah. of southern. Country. No, no. Well, just then you said you said that they didn't that they didn't copy the black style. They they did on it, and even today well, they I mean, did. On what it. I mean now, the copy. What I meant was try to imitate. They took the field because yeah. they were exposed to mm -hmm. so many of the same things, mm -hmm. uh, not to the uh, extent that black people were, mm -hmm. but oh, the, they didn't copy. What they did was, they borrowed 
heavily from. Yeah, this shit is. Nah, wait a minute now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. No, damn, listen, listen, listen. You no, like, no, like, hell, that ain't right. What do you mean? Is that not a compliment? That's yeah, what no, no, I'm not. Hey, I'm that's not what it took to make what y'all were doing absolutely oh, accepted. On that side. I understand. But all other black people that were recording, they couldn't get the records on the white radio stations. You could. You did. Yeah, but do, do you love me or yes, you, you know I love you. Love yeah, you know me. I love you. Ain't gonna, nothing, ain't gonna never change. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Look, look like making fun of me. I mean, uh, uh, can you believe that? You know, I mean, can you believe that? I don't know. Why. Which way is the bathroom? I forgot. Well, that's all right, Mama. That's all right with me. That's all right, Mama. Hey, go Anything you do, that's all right. That's the first time I ever heard him sing in my life. <laughs>